everybody. Hope you're having a good day. We just made it to the first of the Virginia Triple Crown spots. We, uh, Sarah Blazin Baker and I, just made it to Dragon's Tooth. We um, also, just a few minutes ago, uh, passed 700 miles. So huge landmark. Yeah, we're thrilled. Happy to be that much closer, but take a look behind me. That is Dragon's Tooth and uh, we were happy to catch this on a beautiful sunny day. Uh, we were hiking yesterday and the weather was rather awful. <laughs> Just rain that was pretty constant and nasty so we decided to stay at Four Pines Hostel and wait out the weather and wait for today which is a much more beautiful gorgeous day. And we are glad we did that because Dragon's Tooth is pretty awesome. And uh, the views today have been incredible. I'll try to get you over here so you could see some of this. It's just, uh, it's so neat to see all the ridges in these mountains here. So to show you behind me, if you could just take a look at all of that gorgeous mountain beauty. But yep, we are just soaking in this spot. We are, uh, Blazin Baker Sarah is uh, we've been doing similar miles every day so we've been hanging together and she's got a big day today because her husband is coming back with her two dogs we can't wait to meet them she's so excited she can't wait to see her puppy dogs <laughs> happy dance <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there you go <laughs> yep so she should be meeting up with them pretty soon today that's gonna be exciting so, off to a good start today. Hey everybody, I made it to the top of McAfee Knob. Yay, it's so gorgeous and beautiful. So glad that I chose to do this uh, section of the trail on a beautiful sunny day because it is just gorgeous up here. Very beautiful, very peaceful. And I got up here um, kind of late, so it's, it's like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock now, and not too many people out here, so it's pretty cool to kind of have this iconic spot to myself, take lots of pictures, it's cool. So, yeah, it's, uh, but um, just to keep in mind and be aware of, there are lots of bugs up here, and I forgot about that in 2018, but the bugs will swarm you, <laughs> so just be prepared for that when you come up to visit, but just gorgeous views, just this, the, um, the mountains are amazing. So the Tinker Cliffs are, if I could show you, they're right over here and I will be going there tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So I'm excited and looking forward to watching or walking along the ridge line of the Tinker Cliffs. It's also an awesome place to be. We did Dragon's Tooth earlier today and uh, this is just a coolest little section of trail um, in Virginia. So happy to be here and soak it all in a lot slower this time and taking in the views, taking in all the sights. That's what it's all about, being in the moment and trying to be present. So that's, uh, that's what I'm doing out here. But yep, this is how gorgeous it is. All right, I'll check in later. just um I'm at the top of McAfee Knob and uh, I am looking over this beautiful view and about to have dinner you can't beat uh, this spot <laughs> and um, for dinner is packed out pizza some peanut M&Ms and some Triscuits so not too shabby of a night uh, not too bad of a time just chilling here and taking my time to soak in this view and have some dinner so that is the plan but um, I guess I wanted to give a little update of how things have been going lately things have been up and down and so um, I just want to be honest with everybody and, and kind of say how things really are and how it's really going 
uh, especially in preparation for your through hike if you guys are going to be doing that or a section or whatever you plan to do but it's it's been an, an emotional challenge out here for me this has been a tough a tough through hike uh, just from missing home I thought things would get a little easier a little bit better um, and there definitely are days when when it is and I have a great time out here and I'm in the moment and enjoying a great time but I'm still having uh, times where I am very homesick and wishing that uh, Matt and the dogs were with me and or that I was with them so I I thought I would shake it by now but I really haven't and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm dealing with it I'm, I'm handling it as best I can I've been reaching out to uh, the bakers they've been great when I need to talk about it they've been uh, really awesome and, and um, supportive and I talk to my husband on the phone quite regularly, so that's nice, and he's supportive as well. And um, I just know I need to be out here and have this experience, and it has been incredible. The lessons I've learned, the people I've met, the experiences I have, it's all been so worth it. Um, but I, I still can't seem to shake being homesick. <laughs> so I know that I have a lot of reasons to be out here and I remind myself of that um, very often, um, but it's just still a challenge. Um, you know, this has been a very different hike than it was in 2018, it, as it should be, and I'm glad it is. Uh, I did not expect it to be this emotionally difficult, so that is something I'm not quite as familiar with, so it is um, it's good for me to go through this and, and get through this challenge. I think uh, if it was just too easy, then that wouldn't be fun. But you know, you, you gain rewards once you, you hit certain milestones, like today we hit 700 miles, and that was really incredible. Um, the people I've met and the lessons I've learned, just I guess the, the main lesson I've been learning out here is to be present and be in the moment. Um, which I have struggled with in the past, always thinking too far ahead or thinking too far in the past, but trying to soak in moments like, like this, like being here and trying to focus on, on what I'm doing now and currently and today. So that's what I've been working on. That's, uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I can't say I'm perfect at it by any means, but I think that's one of the lessons I've been out here to work on and learn um, or to refine, I guess. And so I'm doing that. And, um, you know, another thing that, uh, we had a discussion about all this last night, um, at the hostel at Four Pines. And I realized that a lot of times I look at this like a, a running race, like a long distance race. And that's not always the best way to do it. Um, I look at it like a strategy, like I need to get from point A to point B as fast as I can and and just uh, treat treat a through hike like a race, but it's not a race, um, unless you want it to be one, but it's not training, it's not a race this time, um, which is very different than it was the last time I was doing this. So it's trying to go a little slower, soak in the moments, and really appreciate what this trail has to offer, which is so much. It's so many experiences, people you meet out here, things you go through, things you see, places you stay, memories that you make, pictures that you take, and it's just incredible. It's, it really is um, a life-changing trail if you allow that experience to happen, and that's what I'm trying to do. So that's the update on things, on how it's going with me, and uh, I'll keep you posted as, as other things come up. All right. Good morning, virtual tramily. I am out on McAfee Knob uh, this morning, watching the sunrise. It's pretty amazing and incredible. You can see the gorgeous mountains behind me. Got some great pictures this morning, and um, it was a great night. I went to bed super early. Got a lot of good sleep that I much needed. Feeling really good and much better today. And I was able to talk to Matt last night, so it's always nice when you have some cell service and you can connect. <laughs> but off to a good start, I'm gonna head over to the Tinker Cliffs this morning, and we got to watch a gorgeous sunrise here on a beautiful clear morning, and that was the goal, so mission accomplished. So 
today is going to be an excellent day. I'm going to hike all the way to uh, Daleville. It'll be kind of a shorter day, 16 miles. So about to get started. All right, everybody have a great day. everyone I am at the Tinker Cliffs I can't believe it this is pretty cool so um, McAfee Knob is exactly right there and that's about uh, a little less than four miles away which I, I, I camped out um, over there last night and got to see a beautiful sunrise and then hiked over here this morning so oh it's just so pretty I can't believe this is such a good day just uh, looking at these mountains. And so the Tinker Cliffs are pretty cool. They, they um, it's about a quarter of a mile that walk along this cliff line. So yeah, it's, it's pretty steep down there. So I'm gonna not film and walk <laughs> because I don't trust myself. I don't wanna go over the cliff, but I love the Tinker Cliffs. I think it's just beautiful, gorgeous views. And I'll try to, let you see there's a town over there but you can kind of see all of that it's just an incredible day i mean it's just amazing so the tinker cliffs are the third um part of the triple crown of virginia you've got dragon's tooth and then you have uh, mcafee knob and then the tinker cliffs and it's all within about a 20 mile uh, part of the trail so you could do it in one day and we we were gonna do it in one day but uh, the weather was kind of rough so we decided to take it easy on the rainy day and then just break it up a little bit which I'm glad we did because um, if you get the opportunity to camp out over at McAfee Knob and watch the sunset and the sunrise first of all it is so romantic and beautiful and so worth it um, definitely take that opportunity if you can and uh, there are two shelters over there and there's also a, a little bit further north of McAfee Knob there's uh, some tent sites so you can uh, you can stay there overnight and and take a look at that and experience that but oh it's a pretty far down looking down there yikes a little too far for me I'm not a huge fan of heights so no, thank you. <laughs> um, I was even too chicken to crawl to the top of uh, Dragon's Tooth, but I saw some other people do it, but I can't do it. Um, it was all I had to crawl out onto the, to the cliff of McAfee Knob, so that's enough for me. But um, having a super good day today, I am just so thankful and lucky and happy to be out here. Um, I have been so blessed on this journey i mean every through hike is amazing and everybody's experience is so unique and different but you get to experience so much out here the people that you meet the experiences that you have um, are just memories for a lifetime and it's really fun to hike along and reflect and think about that stuff um, I, that's a large part of my day um, just doing that and, re and reflecting, reflecting on so much in my life, but it's just, uh, it's days and moments and places like this that just uh, warm my heart and I'm going to be so happy to look back on these pictures and videos later on and see all this stuff, but one more view of the Tinker Cliffs before I keep hiking on. I might actually stop and have a snack and just soak in this view a, a little bit more because why not? <laughs> but here we are. Just incredible. How lucky are those people that live right, right over here that uh, get to live right next to this? Oh my gosh. If I lived down there, I would be hiking up here every weekend. <laughs> They're so lucky, 
But so that's all I got for now. Hope everyone has a fantastic day and I will check in more later. Bye. Bye.